everyone welcome back to joystick news your go-to channel for all things gaming today we're taking a nostalgic trip down memory lane we're talking about the good old days of gaming specifically focusing on npcs but not just any npcs we're talking about the legendary konami classic let's find out why these old timers might just have an edge over some of the modern games npcs first off let's set the stage when we talk about old Konami games, we're not just reminiscing about any games. We're talking about classics like Castlevania, Metal Gear Solid, and Silent Hell. This weren't just title you played, they were word you lived in. And the key part of a living in those worlds, the NPCs. Those non playable characters that brought each game to life. So, what made these NPCs so memorable? Let's get into it. First up, personally, this character were more than just digital creation. They were rich, complex, being with their own quirk and flows. Take Psycho Mantis from Metal Gear Solid. This guy was more than just a villain. He was a psychic powerhouse who literally broke the fourth wall. Remember how he read your PlayStation memory cards, commenting on your gaming habits, or how he made your controller move using the vibration function? That wasn't just innovative, it was mind-blowing at the time. Psycho Mantis left a mark on gamers' memories because he interacted with us in the real world, blurring the line between game and reality. Next, let's talk atmosphere. In games like Silent Hell, NPC weren't just bystanders, they were integral to the game Bone Chilling vibe. Character like Maria or the enigmatic pyramid head added a layer to the story. But more than that, they made the world feel alive and terrifyingly so. In Silent Hill, every NPC encounter was a step deeper into the game's twisted psyche. They weren't just there to advance the plot, they were the living, breathing embodiment of the game's dark soul. And this brings us to our third point, storytelling. In this old Konami classic, NPCs weren't just break ground decoration of quest dispensers they were essential to the narrative in castlevania characters weren't merely allies in your quest they had their own rich backstories and motivation adding that to the overreaching narrative these characters made the story more engaging pulling you deeper into the world and its lore their presence made the game not just fun to play but compelling to experience so, when you look back at this old Konami games, it's clear the NPCs were more than just part of the game. They were the heart and soul of this digital world, making them unforgettable. Now, let's leap forward in time to present day. Modern gaming is breathtaking, isn't it? With its jaw-dropping graphics, massive open world, and ground-breaking technology. But when we zero in on NPCs, there is a bit of disconnect. Let's unpack this. Modern games like Cyberpunk and Assassin's Creed Odyssey dazzle us with their visual splendor. But sometimes, among this splendor, the NPCs, while well, they don't always live up to the grandeur of their environment, consider the depth and emotional connection in many modern games. NPCs serve more functional role. Their vendor, quest givers, or part of the crowd but where is the connection where is the npc that hands you thoughts like lisa from silent hell this older character had stories that resonate living lasting impression long after the game was over and then there is the aspect of uniqueness remember wandering through the town of silent hell each character you met was distinct, contributing to the game hunting narrative. In contrast, in some modern games, you may encounter NPCs that feel duplicated with similar models and dialogue repeated across different areas. This repetition can diminish the feeling of a living, breathing world. Lastly, let's talk about how NPCs are integrated into the world. In classic Konami games, NPCs were often key to the storyline. Their fate intertwined with their journey, 
In contrast, some modern game NPC seems to exist just to populate the game, like in significant impact on the story or the player experience. So, you see, it's not just about the graphic or the skill, it's about the essence, the character, and how these NPCs contribute to the world around them. The old Konami games, they understood this, creating NPCs that were unforgettable and integral to the game experience. You may be asking yourself, why are we focusing so much on NPC? What the big deal? Well, let me tell you, it's a huge deal. NPCs are often the unsung hero in the gaming world. They're the secret ingredient that can elevate a game from good to unforgettable. Think about it, a game world is like a stage, and NPC are the supporting cast. They add that emotion and realism. In the classic Konami games, NPC were crafted with such care that they became more than just digital entities. They were integral to the game heartbeat. Take for instance, mysterious foggy town in Silent Hill. The NPC in this game weren't just random characters, they were manifestation of the town torture cycle. They made the experience personal, relatable and hunting. It's this level of integration and importance that made this character stand out. This attention to detail in NPC design can make a or break a player immersion. When NPC are done right, they can transform a virtual world into a living, breathing universe that players care deeply about. They can make you laugh, cry, or even question your own morals. And that's the magic the old Konami games captured. The NPC were not more bystander in your journey, they were part of the narrative, soul, each with their unique storyline, quirk, and mystery. Yeah, well. Do you agree that NPCs in old Konami games were pioneer in their time? Who's your favorite NPC from any game and why? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this trip down memory line, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more gaming insights and nostalgia. Until our next adventure, keep gaming and stay awesome.